try. So no wonder Biggie always, always ensures that there's enough alcohol in the house to go around so that all those housemates will go crazy, their tongues will get loose, they'll start spilling facts and truths and every whatnot in the house. My gosh. Guys, last night in Biggie's house was so <laughs> dramatic. Extremely dramatic. Guys, it was as if there was something in that party yesterday that just triggered all the housemates to go cuckoo. I swear. Like, every single person in that house was involved in the drama. I swear. And guys, hmm. Anyways, you're welcome to my YouTube channel again. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is where you get the basic facts about the Big Brother Niger show. So guys, without much further ado, let's get into the GC stories. And please though, this story is going to be a bit lengthy so try to kindly watch till the end of the video because i have lots and lots of gist for you um all right guys so yesterday after the housemates won um the indomie challenge um five million era splits 12 ways you know um they received their party frocks from one of the regular brands that gives them clothes in the house so every single housemate got their party outfit and it was really beautiful the theme was gold and everybody was looking golden very very amazing pieces and then no oh, hmm, the wahala started inside the party now we all know that whenever there's a saturday night party and Mercy and Ike start whispering into each other's ears. That is when the drama wants to start. If you have noticed this before, kindly comment yes in the comment section below. Yes! Whenever you... See, let me just give you guys this hint today. Anytime there's going to be drama in the house, watch out. Whenever Ike and Mercy starts whispering in each other's ears, that is when you know that there's going to be a lot of drama going on after the party. So... These two people started whispering in each other's ears, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, what are these two people going on about? So I knew that surely, surely, we will find out after the party. And then, oh guys, Shei started drifting to go and dance with Tacha. And I'm like, Kilo Day, what is going on? I mean, this guy has gossiped about this girl to literally everybody in this house. And now you're going to go and meet her to dance with her. What the hell is going on? You know, and Tacha played along. She was dancing with him as well. And then later, <laughs> both of them were at the far end of the party. They were dancing in front of the mirror, dancing together, doing videos together, doing selfies together. I said, okay, oh, that's my own. I will find out what will happen later. Okay, so after the party, guys, Everybody went into the house and then I noticed that Mercy took Diane and Ike into the HOH room. So Mercy was upset. Okay, I think it was Mercy and Ike, first of all, that were having the conversation. Mercy was upset and was like, um, she trusted Kathy before, but now she doesn't trust Kathy anymore. And Ike was like, why would you? That don't worry that she's just doing her thing. She's just playing her game. Let her do her thing. And Mercy was like, no, that she knows that in that house that... Kafi doesn't take alcohol. That did I see Kafi taking alcohol? That Kafi was taking malt. But then she's surprised that the other day when Biggie rewarded the legends for the punishment that they did, that Kafi was dragging alcohol with Mike, you know. And I too was like, yeah, that he was surprised that she was dragging the alcohol. But then it's her thing. Let her do her thing, you know. So Mercy was upset that no. She's going to talk about it. And she's going to talk about it. So Ike was like, Mercy, just drop it. Just drop it. But Mercy refused. So while they were talking, Diane came into the room and heard what they were talking about. And I was like, eh, that she too noticed it. So as they were talking, Fraud walked into the room. So when Fraud, Fraud wanted to come into the room and Mercy was like, Fraud, come in. We're having a conversation about somebody. So Fraud came into the room and Mercy was like, Fraud, how many people drank alcohol, did not drink alcohol at the party today? And Ford was like, Cindy, and then he also mentioned, it's okay, you notice Cindy. And then, um, Mercy was like, did you notice that Kathy did not take alcohol? I said, yes, he noticed that Kathy was drinking malt. So Mercy was now like, why is she not acting as if she's tipsy? Why is she not acting as if she's tipsy? She, she's just playing all over the place. You know, Mercy was just upset. And then Ike was telling Mercy to drop the issue, but Mercy did not drop it. So Ike left the room. Um, to go to the garden so while they were talking fraud now said please is that that is it not that one i bet everybody is playing their strategy jerry that he has no right on time that um kafi is not a straightforward person so fraud left the room so while they were talking okay mercy now told diane that there's even something that she's very upset with venita about that kafi told her that the punishment that the legends got from biggie that it was the green team that told biggie to give them that 
punishment that why would Venita say such a rubbish that nobody tells Biggie what to do that you cannot control Biggie's decisions in the house you know so when Elozonam came into the room while they were talking Elozonam was like who are they talking about they said they were talking about <coughs> Venita and Kathy and Elozonam was like but Messi why are you getting upset you know I, I've told you this thing before don't trust anybody in this house because everybody is here for the money everybody is here to play the game so why are you getting upset and Messi was like and that she's upset because she trusted Kathy she thought Kathy was innocent but now she has seen Kathy's true person that why would Kathy say and be dragging for alcohol whereas Kathy doesn't take alcohol Oh. now wow so as we were talking Venita and I came into the room and Mercy confronted Venita that Venita this is so so and so that they said and Venita was already tipsy yeah because she had a lot of alcohol to drink so Venita was trying to explain to Mercy that look this is what I said I said it's likely that the punishment that we have is that you suggested it to Biggie because Immediately you came out of the room. That was when Biggie gave us that punishment and um, the diary room That was when Biggie gave us that punishment. So Messi was like, but how can you say such a thing? You know, how can you say such a thing? You don't suggest things to Biggie in this house. You know, Biggie does what he wants to do So while they were talking, Kathy came into the room and when Kathy came in, Cindy came in as well or Mashola came in so they all sat down at the bed and then Venita and Kathy, uh, Mercy, they were talking about and they were shouting and they were yelling. Venita was crying and trying to vindicate herself, you know, with Mercy, that she didn't gossip about Mercy. I'm like, Mercy, are you going to take my word over that of Kathy, that of, out of that flip-flop, out of that snitch? Are you going to take my word over hers? Babe, I fuck with you. So if I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to tell you to your face. And Mercy was like, why didn't you come and ask me first? Why did you have to go and tell it to someone else? And Venita was like, but... I, I, I just said it in passing, not like I said it in, like I was spiting you or anything. So, Kathy came into the room and then Mercy was asking Kathy that, Kathy, you've been HOH in this house before. Does Biggie actually take anybody's suggestion? And Kathy was like, no. So, they were asking Kathy what she said and she said what she said, you know. So, everybody was just talking. Mashila was there, was not shouting. Mashila was already tipsy. So, Mashila was shouting, was shouting. Venita was shouting and shouting. And at the end of the day, they all fell on the bed on top of Mercy, you know, and they were laughing about it. They were being playful. So Venita used the opportunity to apologize to uh, Mercy and said, Mercy, okay, fine, I'm sorry. I take the blame that I did not come to talk to you about it. But then you know me. If I wanted to say something to you, I will say it to you. I won't say it behind your back, you know. So the camera took us to the garden. Now, in the garden... Elozonam was upset and was talking to Ike. So he was complaining to Ike that he doesn't like Tatcha's attitude, that he's 10 years older than that girl, that blah, 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 why would that girl do like that? So Ike was like, what is she doing, you know? So it was like, after the party, Tatcha came to lie down on the swing in the garden. So he went to meet Tatcha and ask Tatcha, are you all right? But Tatcha did not answer him. And then he asked her again and she did not answer. So he was like, I knew you wouldn't answer me. So he got upset and went to go and stay on the other swing. So he was like, who the fuck does she think she is? She's so full of herself. Why would I be talking to her? She didn't answer me. He was just very upset. You know, so Ike was like, I, I, Tatcha is a cool person, but sometimes when she doesn't want to talk, she doesn't want to talk, you know, down the normal day she's cool, but even at the party she was acting very strange and weird, you know. So while they were talking, Tatcha came into the garden with her food. So Ike immediately went to go and meet her and called her, Tatcha, Tatcha, we're actually talking about you. Are you okay? Are you all right? We, we, you seemed really, really strange at the party today. What's going on with you? I'm actually hungry, oh, Tatcha. I'm hungry. Can I eat your food? He was trying to be playful with her. And Tatcha was like, ah, you're hungry. I feel like people have been shouting since. Don't come and eat my food, though, you know? So I talked to her on, you know, about one or two things and then Ike went into the house. So while Tatcha was there, she now came to meet Tatcha in the garden. So apparently, She had told Tatcha that he wants them to have a conversation about what happened earlier in the week. So She was now telling Tatcha that, look, that you shouldn't have shouted at me like that in front of everybody. I didn't like it. I'm your friend. And she, Tatcha was like, She, both of us, we've been close in this house. You know me. I don't like it when people shout my name. But you were shouting at my name. So She was trying to explain to Tatcha that he didn't shout um her name you know that he was he knocked on the door you know so while they were trying to talk the group inside uh, mercy's room H room they came outside again with their conversation and they were now having that conversation again and they were shouting this time around mike was there cindy was there or mashallah was still there right so they were having the conversation venita was still trying to talk about it again 
with Mercy and Kathy. So Shay and Tacha went into the house to the dressing room to go and have their conversation because they felt like there was a lot of noise in the garden. So when they were in the dressing room, Shay was now upset. It was his anger was that Tacha took Kathy's words over his own. That Venita was even trying to explain. And Tacha was like, you expect me to listen to Venita? Venita is literally in every conversation in this house. She talks about everybody. So why do you think I should listen to Venita? So Tacha was like, look, Shay, if I have issues with you, I do my own thing myself. I'll come and meet you directly. Why do you think I should go and ask somebody? So Shay was like, and hey, you should have gone to ask Kathy and you should have gone to ask Venita if I called you. Tacha was like, Shay, I'm not asking anybody in this house because... You know me, I don't do that. If I need confirmations, I come directly to you, the person I'm having that issues with. You know, so she was not upset that so that little minion, that minion you call your friend, and he was just saying things about Kafi. That twat, that Kafi is a twat, Kafi is a minion, that Kafi follows Tacha all around the house. And Tacha was like, Shay, it's obvious you have issues with Kafi, whatever your issues are with her. Go and sort it out and stop coming to tell me anything about her. I don't want to hear. And Che was also referring to Sadi. That was the same thing he did to Sadi. You always took Sadi's words over my own. Whereas it is us, your friend. Shebi was your friend. Shei Kafi is your friend. And Tacha was like, why is it that anybody I'm talking to in this house? You call the person my friend. So I talk to everybody in this house. Everybody is my friend. Right? I don't have any friends in this house. I do not. I talk to everybody equally. I treat everybody the same way. There's no special treatment for anybody sorry guys my alarm is always going off you know so Tasha was like stop calling everybody my friend i'm cool with everybody i'm cool with kathy but if you have any issues with her go and talk to her about it at that time she was already upset that tacha you're trying to prove yourself so much you're trying to prove yourself so much and we know tacha tacha was not listening anymore tacha was like look i'm not trying to prove anything i know that i'm better than <clears throat> than all of you you know, so <laughs> Shay was like, you ain't the shit, you ain't the, sh the shit, you ain't the shit, you think you're the shit, but you ain't the shit, you know, Shay was upset, and both of them were now yelling at each other, Tacha was no longer listening, Shay was yelling, Tacha was yelling, you know, at the end of the day, um, Tacha got upset and walked out, and Shay was like, oh, so you walked out on me, you little twat, you know, you know, Shay was just very, very upset, so Tacha went to go and sleep, meanwhile, Atta in the garden, these people's group were still arguing. So Shay went to go and meet them and dragged Venita out of the group. He took Venita into their room. So he was now reporting Tacha to Venita and telling Venita that Tacha is this, Tacha is arrogant, that he, in fact, he's done trying to make peace with her. He's done trying to talk to her. And Venita was defending Tacha. That look, Shay, there's nothing wrong with that girl. She's being real. She's being herself. The only thing is, I care about Tacha, but I care about her from a distance. The fact that you want her to behave in a certain way doesn't mean that she's a bad person if she's not doing what she wants. And Shay was like, eh, but she, she's just fine for nothing. There's nothing up in her head. Shay was just getting all worked up and angry. And she was like, at the age of 23, who does she think she is? Why does she have so much garbage? Why does she have so much baggage? And Venita was like, seriously defending Tacha. That look, Shay, for me, oh, there's nothing wrong with Tacha. Tacha is being real. She's being herself. I would relate with, I'll fuck with Tacha anytime, any day over Kafi because I feel Kafi is not real. And I've told Kafi several times that I don't trust her. So we understand that and we have that different relationship. But for Tacha, I don't think there's anything wrong with Tacha. I like her the way she is. She's being herself. She's being her real self, you know? So she tried and tried and said so many things to Venita about Tacha. By the end of the day, Venita ended up defending Tacha. And then the camera took us back to the garden where Kathy and uh, Mercy and the rest were talking. Shay came out again and pulled out Mercy and went to go and drop her in the church room to stay with Ike. So that left us with Kathy, Fraud, Cindy, Omashola and Mike. So apparently Fraud has been upset with Kathy all this while about the car. So he kept on saying that Kathy is two-faced, that Kathy gossips in the house, and then she tries to make it look as if she did not gossip in the house. He was also very upset that why would Kathy go and talk to Mercy about what Venita said. And Kathy was like, I'm not gossiping about anybody. Venita made a statement, which you initiated the conversation. You were the one that started the conversation, asking who made Biggie give us this punishment. And then Venita made the statement. And then I went to go and ask mercy because mercy is my friend i talk with mercy i play with her so i had to go and ask her to confirm so that's not gossip and therefore i was like it's a lie it's gossip you are two-faced you gossip you know it was just insulting 
Kafi and then he brought about the car issue that that was how they had an agreement and Kafi refused to stick by it hence her winning the car Kafi was like wow so something of over four weeks ago or three weeks ago I won a car that's what has been upsetting you till now look every other person came to me when I won the car and we had a conversation about it because of the controversy surrounding it and then you are here right now trying to talk to me about it let's have the conversation and then fraud got upset and went into the house so kathy was very very upset even cindy was upset with fraud because she felt like fraud this matter does not concern you in the first place so why did you carry it on your head kathy is who she is she said what she said you are here beating yourself over it Venita and Mercy that had the issue with her in the first place they've gone inside the house you are here carrying the matter on your head defending people that don't even have issues in the first place you know and fraud was like hey i just want to say i just want to put it out there that kafi is two-faced kafi is this kafi is that you know so he went inside the house so kafi was very upset she was very very upset she wanted to go and talk to fraud about it but then omashola and mike were coming her down omashola was telling her that look just calm down down in normal day it's because you've been very very playful with everybody in this house and it's because you're always always too friendly you ask a lot of questions so people take it as you being a gossip so omashola was advising kafi to stop um you know asking questions anymore to stop talking to people you know a lot about things that she should start learning to stay on her own and not to trust anybody in the house you know so Amashala was now making reference to Tatcha that look if it was Tatcha nobody can bring this shit to her because she doesn't take that nonsense so everybody feels like you can take rubbish that's why they are bringing this issue to you to come and talk to you anyhow so Amashala was now teaching Kafi how to stay on her own Mike too was now teaching Kafi that look Kafi you just have to calm down. Everybody's going to step on your nerves. Everybody's going to get at you because they know that you are someone they can come and talk to and bring bullshit to. So when they went into the house, <laughs> Mike was now explaining to Kathy that, look, this is how Tatcha works. He was now working like Tatcha. He said, Tatcha carries her face up in the air because she doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't take any bullshit from anybody. And as a matter of fact, nobody gives her that rubbish. So if you can be like Tatcha, you won't have issues. Nobody would bring any bullshit to you in this house. So just be like Tatcha. And I'm like, what? So uh, Mashala and Mike and Venita are defending Tatcha. Now, wow, what's going on in this house? So... <laughs> and earlier guys earlier on when after, immediately after the party mercy was upset with kafi calling kafi a low budget tatcha that this is the 10th week and that um, kafi is trying to be like tatcha that tatcha is the real deal tatcha is real tatcha is not fake tatcha doesn't fake her actions that tatcha has been consistent in her actions from day one but kafi is just beginning to change right now that touch is um kafi is just like the agama um sorry the war gecko trying to be like the agama lizard please if you're not nigerian i don't know how to explain that to you just understand the word lizard my god i'm like now wow so this housemates ah anyways question of the video guys what do you think about all this drama? What do you think about all this drama? What I've just said to you is just what happened on the show, Undiluted. So kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. I want to know what you think about all the drama that happened in the house. Meanwhile, up until I think to 3 a.m. this morning, Hello Zona and Shay were having a long conversation about Tatcha, talking about her. Tatcha is damaged. Tatcha is rude, Tatcha is arrogant, Tatcha is this, Tatcha is that. Elozina was very upset and he was even saying that no matter what Tatcha thinks she has been through in this life, that he has been through worse. He was not telling us the history about his life. I'm like, seriously, Elozina, if you have issues with this girl, go and meet her face off and talk to her about it. Why are you re reporting her to everybody in the house that cares to listen? You know, it doesn't really make sense. And Shaitu was upset. Tatcha is this, Tatcha is that. And then Lozuna was saying that Venita is conniving, Venita is manipulative, but he likes Venita because Venita is going to tell you to your face what she wants to do with you. So, guys, the point of all this gist is that everybody cast for the house. All the Wahala that, all the tension, all the Wahala that has been building up, it exploded that last night and the early hours of this morning and i'm really really happy it exploded but then i wish if elozona still remains in the house after tonight though i wish he would just simply walk up to tatcha and explain his grievances to her and let them sort it out because currently tatcha doesn't even know what's what's going on between them and also i liked the fact that everybody was able to confront their fears everybody was able to bring to the open all the conversations they've been having 
behind closed doors. I'm happy with the fact that Venita, Kathy, and Mercy were able to talk about their issues and trash it out. I'm happy with the fact that um Kathy and Tach um sorry Shei and Tacha they've been able to understand our local in this house. Two elephants cannot cannot be right at the same time. So guys I don't know. I don't know. You guys, tell me what you think about all the drama. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Today, I'm not saying anything. You guys just do all the talking in the comment section. And let's engage our thoughts. Um, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, guys, kindly subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your love and support on this channel. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tonight's video for the live eviction show. Remember, I'm definitely going to be right here to give you guys the juicy details about the Big Brother Ninja live eviction show. Question of a video again, guys. Who do you think is going home tonight? How many people do you think are going home? Who and who are they? Please comment your answers in the comment section below. Bye.